Chronicles, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. Welcome back to Rasketeer. Let's do some stuff. Which, where was I? Uh, well, day 20 is the latest one on the loop. Right, okay. So, last episode, I realised I had very little chance of getting the amount of money I required. Uh, let's just bring the... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. The buttons are so weird on this game. So if I wanted to go to this state, this screen, in a normal game, I press start. For some reason, it is left bumper on my... I, I use a um, X-Bone controller. I don't have an X-Bone. I've got an Xbox 360 laying around somewhere. Uh, but this is just the most convenient uh, <laughs> controller I have to hand. Yeah, left bumper for what is essentially the start, the pause menu, the start screen. That is weird. I'm not used to that. No matter how many times I play this game. Right, so, we're on day 20, and I'm on 36,000. I've got to get 80,000 by the 22nd. End of 22nd. So, last episode, I managed to beat the Slime King, and that gave me some stuff and things. Here's the thing, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the 80,000. So, the way this game works is it starts you back from, like, day one, basically. But I think there's a few things that get kept. So I think your money gets reduced to a certain number, but I think you get to keep your items, and you keep your merchant level, and I think any upgrades you've given your adventurers, or adventurer, because I've only got the one at the moment, um, I think they all stay the same. So I think what I'm going to do is when I inevitably fail to get the 80,000, I'm going to enter the second loop, and we'll do this in a sort of um, Dead Rising kind of way, and I'll try and go through again and see if I can do better in the second loop. Whether I will play this game into a third loop, we'll have to see. As I said, it depends on how far you can reasonably get in a loop. So, first and foremost, let's actually have a gander at me stuff so <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can do that right let's work on the assumption that I haven't got all the good stuff out let's, let's just see. their ingredients I'm going to keep my ingredients because I, I hope I'm going to be able to get onto the fusion stuff later okay yeah, so all, all the good stuff is out so in other words I have to sell all of this and hope for the best so let's, let's do it let's see what happens Come and buy my tat. Okie dokie, so you want to buy the armour? So, as I figured out last time, if the arm, if the item has got anything saying that the price is up or the price is down, that's based on how much they're willing to buy it for. It doesn't, as I initially believed, affect the base price. I suspect there were some comments telling me that the base price wasn't affected uh, in, the, <laughs> in the earlier episodes, but I'm an idiot, what do you expect? Uh, 150, you'll say no. No, no, of course it's not that, really that expensive, but if I drop it down to... I think you take it around 35, so let's try that. Madness, okay, never mind then. 35 usually is alright for them. Hey, Louis, what do you want? Oh, and you'll take it for a high price as well, so this is what I was just talking about. So if I up this to one... Oh, it's hard to tell how much. Let's push it. And go for that. He'll say no. Oh wow, he said yes. Jesus, high price is great. I need to keep an eye out for that. Okay, so uh, let's do what we just did. One fifty. You say no. I dropped it down to 135 and you said no, so let's try one... Yeah, 134, what the hell? 1%, 1% was in it. Okay. So I'm now at 40,000 and I've got to try and double the amount of money I've got in a couple of days. I don't think that's possible. You want the thankful statue. Okay. You're pretty good with money. So let's only go up to 143. You'll say no, and I'll take it down to one. I'll take it down to one thirty. I'm pretty sure you accept that. Yeah, there we are. 
So I'm, I'm tempted to start playing it fairly safe with the... Uh... Oh, heavy armor's increased. Oh, God damn it, I just sold all my heavy armor. <laughs> damn it. Okay. Um, so what have we got for the... Oh, I have absolutely nothing. I think I may have to go and have to buy some stuff. Not leather armor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let's put this the sword back in the there for now. I'm gonna have to go out and go buy some heavy armor. Uh, Merchant Guild. Is there any fusion yet? Now here's the thing: it requires ingredients. Until I know what those ingredients are, I don't think I can fuse stuff. Well, we'll have a look through all of these. Yeah, so it, I think it has to specifically tell me what's going on, and I think that is based on a combination of my merchant level and the ingredients I've discovered. I think. That is pretty speculative. Ah, okay. So helm, thankful statue, and slime liver. I can make this. I have a slime liver. I think I've got a thankful statue back home, so I should get a warrior's helm now. Note to self, don't sing along to the bloody music because I will inevitably end up getting <laughs> my audio and my visual out of sync and it will become incredibly obvious when the, uh, when the editing comes along. Right. I'm thinking, because I think you get to keep the items in your store, between the things. I will, I suspect, uh, well, either I do or I don't. If I know for a fact I don't get to keep the money because that would just be overpowered. So I think if you suspect you can't survive, it makes most sense to buy as much stuff as you can before the, uh, the deadline. So let's fuse, can I fuse anything? I can't remember, it's just that one thing. Yes, yeah, so if I go if I go back to the store, pick up the thankful statue and the slime liver, come back here, I can make that, whatever it is. And presumably I can then sell it for a, a good amount of cash. Just check there's nothing else on this list. Okay, yeah. So it would almost make sense, before coming out to buy from here in the future, to empty my entire stock off the shelves into my inventory, so if I can fuse things, I can come and fuse stuff then, if that makes sense. Okay, let's... I have to go to the market, I can buy stuff from the market, I think. Okay, I know I can stop buying from the market, obviously, but I think I can buy good stuff from the market. It makes sense to have a wide variety of stuff. Let's go. So if I... Oh, these actions won't take any time. Go to the Adventurer's Guild. If I go back to the Merchant's Guild, I can try my fusion thing, I think. Oh, no, I can't, because I... The, the slime lever is in my shop, because it was rare, so... That, means, that was a stupid thing to do. Right, now, if I go over here, change walls. Okay, how do I change floor then? I bought the carpet, I want to, I want to put carpet down. Dear. How do I... Use this stuff I've bought. Oh. Sod it, I'll figure that out next time. Open store. Come and buy my tat. Oh, not you again. You never buy anything. Look, it's a high price. Oh, you're the worst possible person to sell this to. Um, how about... 175. 
Seriously? The one who doesn't spend was willing to buy that for seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do some experimentation. Because that is, that's a lot of money. You're on the leather armor, also on a high price. Can I do what? Can I just double the price? Really? 200%. Jesus, why did I not know this earlier? How stupid am I that I didn't <laughs> register this? Uh, you want me to buy it? Um, all right, fifty percent. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bought a candy apple. Why the hell not? I can shove it up Lewis next time he's uh, low on health. He wants the sword of stabbery. Okay. Uh, uh, that. Uh, 140, you will say no. I'll drop it down to 133. Great. This selling is going quite well. I'm still not going to make the 80 grand I need, but you know. About 210? Bloody hell! I am aghast this is working as well as it is. <laughs> okay. Whatever, that'll do. Over the store one at a time, and then tomorrow we'll go back into town and uh, try that fusion thing out. You want that. It's not price up particularly. Four grand. You say no, I'll drop it down to about there. Yeah, that works. I think I've got a decent merchant level, and I think the higher the merchant level is, the more people are willing to buy things from you. I think. It's very awkward. I'll, I'll reread what Tia says about it later. Your family suddenly needs a tre- what? <laughs> My family suddenly needs a treasure. Well, I've got a spare thankful statue, so buy that. Ah, 40. Yeah, yeah, I know you didn't. Oh, whoa, whoa, not that much lower. Uh, 135. Well, that didn't work. Then again, I think the housewife is a bit of an awkward one to sell to in the first place, so. You want big shit. I bought that off you! I swear this guy comes in just to help more than he does actually do any shopping. Um, so, yeah, whatever. You say no. Come on, buddy, work with me here. Yeah, there we go. Now, what do you want to buy? You want. Oh, the uh, overcompensator. I didn't read what he said, but the overcompensator. Okay. Uh, 145. No. Let's try 140. Yeah. About learning the uh, the areas that they are willing to buy from. Oh, you actually want this? Ah, oh, it's a legend. God, I can dare. Uh, high price. Okay, let's. Okay, sure. Two hundred percent. But they just buy anything for the uh, the high price. Now I'm gonna have to keep experimenting with that. That uh, that went all right. That went surprisingly well. I am oddly impressed with myself. Okay. Oh, the news. The price of metal items has decreased. Metal items? What does that cover? What does that mean? Oh, so the, the helms are down. Charms down. So of those anyway. Oh, the steel sword's down. Oh, bugger off. Bow's fine, cape's fine. Oh, the shield's down. You know what, I'm just going to take everything off the shelf. As I said, I'm going to go to... Oh, go I'm going to go to the merchant skills. I'm going to buy... I'm going to try the fusion thing out so I can see what that's like. 
actually... I'm just gonna... Tia, explain to me merchant level again. Oh! You actually tell me what they do? I thought you were just the explanation again. God damn it. Okay. Merchant level goes up. Okay, so... Let's start at the top. So level one. That's just where I started. So level two. That's when people started selling to me. Okay, level three. That's when they said, oh, I've... Can you give me something vaguely revenue? Okay. So that was unlocking more. That's what. So yes, I've only been able to get fusion relatively recently. So now I'm at level six. I can change the wallpaper. Okay. And accept orders in advance. Okay. So someone might come in and say, "I'd like to buy a sword on the 28th." And I can. Okay. Okay. So I bought the floor, and I can't do that for two more levels. Well, that was it. Three more levels for the carpet. Jesus. Why did I waste my money on that? That's what I get for trying to guess what the game is going to do in advance. Okay. Do, 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 do. Merchant Guild. Let's try the fusion. No, 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 no. Can't do that yet. No, 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 no. Okay, but I can get the rank one helm. Whatever that means. Um, I don't think... Yeah. Also, I've just noticed it highlights... I was looking at the right-hand side of the screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, it literally highlights what you can and can't do. So this is literally the only thing I can do. Okay. Fusion! Okay, so i got Knight's Helm plus one. Ah, and now I've fused it, it gives me the description about it. So actually I took a thankful statue and a warrior's helm and slime liver and now I've got it that I can sell for 7,000. So let's... Is that uh... Who is it? So warrior's helm was only about 900. Give or take. The slime liver was the thing I found so that was free. And the... Oh, what was the third ingredient? Thankful statue. Which isn't here, I don't think. Yeah, you don't do treasures, do you? Uh, if I go to my treasures, I'm not actually going to sell that one. Thankful statue is worth, let's say, 2,000. So actually, yeah, fusion, very well worth doing to get some good items. But now we're in the situation where all of that is worthless because the price is down. Oh, all the good stuff is uh, the price is up. Town Square is flashing again. I don't. Is there a point in going to those cutscenes? It doesn't take any time. Why not? Hey, it's the old man again. Ah, a little receipt. Working hard, I hope. He goes on a walk, sir. He's clearly sitting down. So he's out walking. Make a habit of getting out of the house on days like these. Don't do that at the moment, guys. Self-isolation and all that. Stay in your doors. Wash your hands. Uh, eat up all your tin tomatoes. Walking the sun is good for the soul. Yeah, good days. You feel nice. You stay indoors. You feel good. some weather then. No, no, sun's good for the soul. Rain hardens the body. So it's not nice to see... Besides, it's nice to see the city looking different on a rainy day. So then you just go for a walk every day. <laughs> he likes walking. That's fine. Okay. Um, what is the purpose of those? Is it just world building? I'm glad it doesn't take any time up while I'm out here, but... Am I... Am I supposed to... Is there a chance I'll get something out of them? Because currently it's just been a waste of time. Um, I need time to sell stuff. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do stuff. Okay, so... There's no point putting anything that's blue out. Just go for the... Uh, is there anything that was red? I didn't... No. Price is just down on a few things, not up on anything. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, 
change wallpaper for down here. Let's change the wallpaper while we're here. Okay, so I think that was our default. So, yeah, it's looking nicer. Isn't that pretty? Hey, uh, you, Tia, tell me about the store atmosphere now. We are right in the middle. We're not light, we're not dark, we're not gaudy, we're not plain. I can live with that. I only bought that for 7,000, the base price is 10. I like the market, market is friend. Right, let's do some stuff. Old man, having fun on your walk? Buy stuff from me. Um, 140, you say no. Down by a hair, hair I can certainly do, buddy. How about 135? Madness, bugger it. You there, what do you want? Unthankful statue. This is something my, man, my grandmother treasured, but oh, you want to sell it to me? I don't want to buy it. 40 quid. Yeah, go away. I'm not buying your stupid headless statue. What would you like? You need to help the old pension, you see. Oh, you're trying to sell me. You're trying to sell me something. Why is everyone trying to sell me stuff? Just. Look, uh, 300, how's that? Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna buy your cheap tad. You wanna sell me something reasonably priced I can get a decent profit from? By all means, but. Got a weapon? Look around you! There are weapons everywhere! Now, what I want is a weapon, but the price isn't down. That's for two, I think. That's probably my. My best, isn't it? Yeah, so, Lance, buddy. That is a weapon. Um, 140, you say no. 135, you say no still. Um, 134? Okay. I'm glad that he gave me a second chance to haggle on that. That was very kind of him. Sir. Uh, I didn't know they could do that. I assumed it was just one and done. Can you get that? Certainly can. It'll be... Uh, 150. You say no. And I sell it for 140. And you say yes. There you go. Why do they even bother putting the smaller priced things in at this point? Because, I mean, I'm never going to be able to sell enough in a day of the small things to make the kind of money up I want. You want some food? I have some food. Um, I think I can use the honey for thing. But... Yeah, I don't have any other food. Do I? What? Couldn't it, uh, this menu's rather awkwardly designed, having to cycle through everything. Couldn't you have given me, like, just the list? I could go down the list and then go through to it rather than... There's one of it. Okay. Uh, honey. Honey is food. Buy that. For lots. No, you don't. Uh, that's... 135, there you go. Madness, uh, whatever. I didn't do as well that time as the time before, but now I've got to move things around. Right, let's try selling some more. I mean, it's possible I can get the 80,000, but I am sort of hovering at the moment around the same sort of price. You want that? Uh, do, do, do. Yes, I can sell it for a bit less. We know how this goes, buddy. Uh, 140. Thank you. Though there is an element of luck in it in the, um, A, you can't choose what they're actually buying. And if the price goes up, the uh, or goes down, you're screwed if that's what your your inventory is based on. Wait, hang on. You bought the, the fancy armor, and now you're buying a chest piece. I mean, for a guy who, by the looks, it doesn't do much. You're just random villager alpha. 
You seem to know a lot of weaponry and protective equipment. What are you doing when you leave the shop? Let's try 145. Ah, I thought it might haggle again, damn it. Okay, you you want a treasure. Um Scarves, capes, scarves, rings, treasures. And they have a thankful statue. It's ar pretty arbitrary what people come in saying they want. I, was like, I need a treasure! Fast! Um, okay. Why? Shut up, that's why. Damn it, I keep, I keep forgetting she doesn't go for the 130. I've got to go slightly lower for her. Oh, you have no concept of money! Great! But, no, don't sell to me! I don't want your stupid... Bread. This place, hopefully you'll make this place look like, less like a shanty. You're selling me a 100 monies piece of bread. I don't want it. I will give you 10 pence for it. If shop you can art you are Picasso. Picasso is one of the most well-renowned artists of all time. How is that an insult? You're an idiot. <laughs> On a sodding minute. This is medieval fantasy France. How the hell do you know who Picasso is? Armor? Um, I may have sold all my armor actually. Scarves, cape, this charms, helms, hats, shields. Yeah, I've sold it all. Uh, best I can offer you, buddy, is my knight's helm. First, that's a piece of armor. Breastplate? That's kind of an armor. Is that close enough for you? Okay, neat. I didn't want to go with the helm because that was uh, the price down. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you're going to reject it anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, for the love of buggery, man. 134. The amount you haggle for is incredibly specific. <laughs> I think it was something special, what do you want? Found little something in the wilds want to buy. No, I do not want a random bit of food you found on the street. I don't. 200. I'm not fussed on buying this tat. I said if it was expensive stuff that I had a chance in hell of selling for a decent amount of money, I'd try for it. But it's. It's just not worth it. Do, 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 do. I've only got the. Um... I've only got metal stuff now. I want the. I want to sell the metal stuff. I don't want to sell the healing. Man. Thank the statue. Is that really the best I've got now? That's um, all metal things. Uh... Price down. That's really screwed me. Okay, yeah, of course it's for sale. Even if it's not the one in the window, there's another one next to it. That... Why would it not be for sale, you cretin? I'm just gonna make it cheaper, buddy. That's literally the point of the shop. Uh, there you go. Four and a half. Oh, well, really? that's too expensive, are you? All right, how about that? Cool. Thanks. Go away. Hello, person. What do you want? You want your wife asked you to pick up the cape. Uh, to be fair, capes are awesome. So, uh, well, how about that? Go for that. Cool. Great. Money. I want to focus on getting the sales, I suppose, at this point, so I can get the merchant level up. That would make sense. You want to sell the unthankful statue? I mean... 70? Yeah, great. Pull away. Hello again. Crafter's knife. Again, I bought that off you. Right, both hands are going to work. I'm going to say 140. You're going to say no. I'm going to take it down to 134. Push it the absolute bloody limit with you. And you'll say yes. Really? Really? 
Jesus wept. Oh, hey, Data, what do you want? This is desired. Okay, how about... You don't buy much, though. So let's let's start reasonable. We'll start 135. See, it's it, okay. We'll drop it down to 129. Oh, finally I sold something to you. So you need to be slightly under 30%. Okay. We, we're learning. We're learning. We're not learning very fast, but we are learning. Even so, I think... Exceed expectations. It is very easy to exceed the expectations. Because those, those stamps mean basically nothing. Oh, news. Price of armour has increased. Oh, thank Christ. Price of daggers is normal. Yeah, that's alright. First annual radish wheel cart race held. Okay. I think that was just a joke. Let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the time. Oh, I, I've got till today to make 80 grand. And I'm on 56. I would have to sell every item I've got at a reasonable price to make eight, to make 30,000. So I think what I'm going to do, dear viewer, is I'm going to, I'm going to get everything I can I'm going to take all of my high price stuff and I'm going to replace it with the cheap stuff. Okay, follow my logic here. I put all the cheap stuff out. Right, okay, you're with me so far. Putting the cheap stuff out. Okay, I take all the expensive stuff and I keep that. And then at the end of the day, I go out and I spend all of my money on the most expensive stuff I can possibly buy. So then, when I restart the game for the second loop, if I've kept all my items, then I've basically got a big backlog of stuff I can sell for a good price. And if I don't keep my items, and I don't keep my money, it doesn't matter. Right, so let's try and save up as much money as we can, and then we'll sell every, we'll buy everything. The last one. What do you want? You want slime fluid? Uh, of course it does. I was messing with you. And you sell that there. Cool. We'll, we'll try and sell all this stuff. I won't worry about the money. I just want to focus on the selling aspect. In fact, yeah. That's what we'll do. I'll just sell everything at a base 120, and that'll boost my merchant level up. Because so I'm not going to be able to complete this this thing properly. So if I make sure I sell everything, you sell that to me. Certainly will. How about so make a little bit of profit on everything, just a little. But the fact is, we're selling it to boost the merchant level. Price of precious metals has increased. Price of armor has normalized. Several incidents with fake high class restaurants have left diners uncertain. This news is baffling. I don't I don't understand it. Slim fluid. Uh, shroom. Verbal. Neat. So open the store once more, and I'll go into the market for the... Actually, I'll go to the market now. <laughs> uh, oh, if I return now, no time will pass. Um, okay, whatever. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. So, we're going to open the store again, and we're going to just try and sell everything that we can. Just everything. Get that merchant level to go up below. That'll do. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Uh, 125, you'll probably take it with that anyway. Yeah, so 120 to 120. Yeah, leveled up. So what do you want, buddy? You want to buy a treasure? Um, oh, 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 oh. Take one of these unthankful statues. Because I hate the little buggers. Uh, if 128, whatever. Too much? Oh, really? Okay, yeah, but 120. Great. Give me that experience, buddy. Because I ain't getting any money from all of this. You know, if I get to the end of this and it turns out that all of those items are gone in the next one, that's going to be a pain in the ass. You want the chestnut? Sure. Thank you. Bam, bam, bam. No, brain, stop singing along to the... Oh. This is for my brother. Eh, take it. I'll sell it at cost, whatever. <laughs> Actually, think, I think I only bought it for 70. So even then, even selling it at 100, I have a... I made a profit. But see, I have a moment. Given how well you were doing, I think it's time I explained how to take an order in advance. Um... How well I'm doing? Have you looked at how much money's in the bank? <laughs> okay, but at least we'll get this uh, taking money in advance out of the way. So I hadn't realised that was the... Whenever she was introducing a new mechanic, I hadn't twigged that was related to the merchant level. I'd assumed that was based on the day. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do a loop again, because I didn't want to go through and explain every single thing again. But I guess she won't. I mean, she probably will, but whatever. Uh, up until now, customers are going to be purchasing from us immediately. In advance, whatever, however, customer will let us know that they want to return in a set number of days, pick up the items in question. Obviously, not every customer will want to do this. If the customer tells you they want something in so many days, in advance, order to try to take it. Only do so if you feel you can fulfill the order, of course. Can I just give them what they want if I have it on hand? No, you cannot. That doesn't make sense. Someone walks into a shop. Hello, I would like to place an order, please. I would like to buy a, uh, a sword. I want to buy it in three days. I have a sword now. Do you want to just, just take it? Do you want to take, take, take the sword? No, no, I want it in three days. Um, why three days? Because I, I, I want to use it as a toothpick. I don't know what I'm talking about. Simply what it is now, there's simply purchase the items now. The age is based on what is convenient for the customer, not you. I mean, I guess, I suppose, if you your payday is in two days, they could sort of, sort of fit that in. Whatever, okay. So they want an item in, say, three days, you must give it to them then. And remember, you must be open to actually sell an item to somebody. Oh, right, okay, so I can't then spend the day um, adventuring or whatever. Make sure the store's open that day, we can't fill the order. But does that mean they will come for the first slot? So if I open up on the first slot, will they definitely come then? If I'm closed for the first three slots and do it in the last one, will they definitely come then? Can I force them into certain time slots like that? Or... Oh, whatever. Also, people use advanced or support multiple items. Excellent chance to sell many items in one go. Just try and fill as many orders as you can, yes? We're going to do a practice for like ten times, aren't we? I'll keep track of all our outstanding orders. Well, that's useful. You check certain items are due. You simply ask me whenever you're in the shop. Advance KOs. That that were letters. Oh, you're not even going to give us a practice on that one. Price heavy armor has decreased. Metal things are normalized. Radical. Oh, racial. Racial wars in the north are coming to a head, sources say. I get the feeling you were. Are the fairies being affected by the race wars? I hope that they're not being affected by the race wars. Sod it, whatever. We'll just we'll just do that. Um, in fact, I'm going to change the walls actually to the lacquer walls Be because what I don't want to happen is to come back next time and find that it's reset all of the walls to regular as well. So I don't want to lose the resort paper, because that's expensive and looks nice. So, let's open the store. I really hope it doesn't do the opposite and only the things that I've got on the shelves get kept. Who the hell are you? You're a random person, Alpha. Hello. This place isn't nearly as nice as I thought it would be. I just changed the wallpaper, mate. 
Do these people really get me what I need? That depends what you're after. Um, no choice, I keep trying to fall. You there, go face the owner of this place. I have business with him. You're looking at her. To be fair, it's not surprising that a child... That you'll be not expect the child behind the counter to be running the store. No, really, we're the owner. Seriously. Because apparently there are no child labour laws in fantasy France. Can you... You may think I'm some sort of idiot kid. You're both idiot kids. Do you want me to believe that someone as short as you are? Short? That's... That's your concern, that she's short. Not the fact that she's a child. Really, I am the owner. Please don't tell the customers to shut up. <laughs> Tia, don't swear in front of the customers. Have either of you worked in the service industry before? <laughs> Jeez, don't. Don't swear, at, don't yell at the customers, don't swear in front of the customers. This is very basic stuff, both of you. Very interesting, not what I expected. Um, physically slight and at a disadvantage against larger creatures, but innately talented at administration and management. Quite possibly the only non-human race to easily adapt to human culture by utilizing their unique talents. In other words, you must be the proprietor, Madam Fairy. Good day. I apologize for having to raise my voice at your servant. <laughs> ah, well. Yeah, hang on, just a. Uh... It's a pleasure to meet you, Madam Fairy. Kai. Ka Kali. Kaliu? Kailu? Kailu? Calvin! Calvin is my name. I'm a magician by trade, and I need a place. I need to place an order for some reagents. An item order, very well. What can we get you? I require three items specifically. A charred lizard, a bat wing, and a slime liver. I only need one of each. There's no need for a precise deadline, but obviously, the sooner you can provide them, the better it will be for everyone. Can I assume you will take the order? Naturally, we shall obtain what you need as soon as we can. Marvellous. Well then, if you excuse me. Um, you know, I, um... Ah, uh, yes, you. Look, don't cause your boss trouble, right? Pretending to be the owner like that will only make you look foolish. Shut up, Calvin. I am the owner. Now, now, don't get so angry about this. Simple mistake, nothing more. You could have corrected him. If it's so simple, then why do you look so happy about it? Uh, you clearly misunderstand me. Yes, clearly. Okay, so that's an order that's been taken with no... We have no input on that, but there's also no time limit. So I suppose that's a nice balance. Never thought I'd find one of these here. Cherries. You didn't think you'd find cherries. Look, just... Just take them. Just, just take them. Take them and get out of my store. Hey, Louis. And of course, you're selling this when I'm near broke. If you are that broke, you cannot buy bread. What are you spending your money on? Because every time you come in here, you spend it on something ludicrous you never use, and now you can't afford bread. Tell you what, Louis, just, just take it. 100. Just take it. So at least the experience is going up pretty well. Hey, Data, what can I do? Two books required in two days. Can you provide? Yeah, sure. I can get you two books. Okay, so... Right. So the order in advance... Do I have any control over? Do I have to haggle when they get in? Or is it, well, they will buy it at cost? That's going to be interesting. Hi there, what can I get you? Piece of armour. Um, I don't have any armor I want to sell you. Um, I don't want to lose all my monies. Uh, no, we don't have any of those. No, a place like this lives and dies on people buying stuff that I want them to buy at the times I want them to. Do something special? We need some food. Some food? Food? There's, there was some food out, wasn't there? Elms, charms, metal, escapes, guard. I don't like having to cycle through all of these. Ingredients, food, there we go. Um, oh, whatever. What about that? 
do have one. Cool. Uh, little loot. Two thousand. That price isn't right. All right. Uh, one seven seven zero. There you go. I don't think the experience really changes with the price of stuff. Go rest then, tomorrow we'll be busy. No, it really won't. We exceed expectations? Really? We have, like, a grand in the bank. Okay, there's three grand in the bank. Okay. Oh, I've got to press the button for the, the cutscene of death to load. I'm afraid this amount of money is insufficient. The fact that it took you till now to twig that was going to happen, Tia. You aren't as good as management as Calvin said you were going to be. Okay, agent of term finance, if it house, I don't have any debt. What? No, I, uh, 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 we're going to live in a box. In a box. Receipt's house is now a box. With a can. Sad music players. And so the cute great little home, crushed by the cruel bitterness of reality. Wow, well, I'd have to end in a box. What's in the box? I think I made that joke last time. Game over. So I did um I did a special little one-off mini episode of just showing what uh, the failure state was, so if you want to look through any of that, go for it. The reverse are you in a coma? Huh? Tia? I'm asleep. Mm, tea was just a dream, I guess. That dream sounds surreal, though. I thought, I mean, the light. Mm, pillow. Yes, 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 yes. Wake up. Yes, yes, get... Is there just a skip? Yes, skip the event. Because, as I said, I showed you that in the, um, that one off video. Great! Oh, don't make us... Skip all the stuff. Cool. Right, now I can put the real stuff out on. Yes! Look at all this stuff. So, as I said, look, the, the money is reset to a thousand. Um, so, that is what's how to play this game, it would seem. If you are in the running the risk of not being able to sell all your stuff, buy as much as you can directly before the uh, the date of, of the due date comes up. Cause, look, now I've only got 10,000 by the 8th. And, you know, I could get 10,000 by selling... Um, where is it? Yeah, I get 10,000 by selling that. Just that. <laughs> I mean, it says the base price is 9,000, so obviously, you know. And, um... Yeah, yeah, so if I just sold this plus the 1,000 I've got, bam, 10,000, done. Uh, so. Right, I, I've been recording for an hour. I'm going to have to cut some of this video down, hopefully. So, yes, that is. That's where I'm going with the, with this, the next episode. We will just just try and see if we can repeat the loop and succeed this time. The thing is, what concerns me is what I don't want to happen. I don't want to have to um, keep repeating the loops. Uh, I want there to be a point where, you know, the, the difficulty increment and the ability of the character to actually sell the stuff match up. The only thing I can think of is basically to grind receipts little arms into a nub and just to repeat like the first week over and over and over again to get the merchant level up. It's a possibility. I don't know. No. For what we'll do for now, as I'll just save the game and we will next time see if we can get this loop to go properly. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'll be interested to see how far I can actually get having now reset at merchant level 7 with all that stuff in the, in the inventory. Anyway, this is another one that's going to be interesting to edit because I'm going to have to try and cut this down to something watchable. An hour is too long for an episode like this where I haven't really achieved it. In fact, I've not only not achieved something, I've done the opposite of achieved stuff. I have anti-achieved. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Hope you enjoy the video, like and subscribe, all the other stuff YouTubers are supposed to say at the end of the video. Go to home, stay home, enjoy life. I, I need to come up with a better ending than this. Whatever. Bugger off. <laughs>